If you're like us, when you use your scroll saw, you're typically cutting something that's pretty thin. In this case, we're doing a production run of Montana State out of book covers. And it's pretty abrasive stuff, which means we have blown out the bottom set of teeth. And so everything in the whole stroke of the machine is gone. But there's still a lot of blade left in there. And it just irritates me to have to change out a blade when I still got all these good usable teeth that have never even had a chance to cut anything. So what we're going to go through here today is a way to make a very useful temporary top that will lift up your cutting surface three quarters of an inch so that you can use a whole new batch of teeth and get more life out of your saw blades. You ready? Yep. So you start by taking a measurement. You want to know from the very back of your saw all the way out to the very front how long is it? In this case it's 22. Then you want to take a measurement as to how far your blade is from the back of your saw and this one is 16 and a quarter. Now I'm going to build it out of this. This is a covered door scrap but it has melamine on both sides. That'll give me a nice slippery surface to work with. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the dead center of this cupboard door, which would be ten and a quarter, and I'm going to, on the table saw, run a line right up to that sixteen and a quarter mark that is the depth of the throat of the saw. By the time you're done with your board, and you want to start with a scrap piece or you can go buy malamine at the hardware store. You're going to have a center line cut up whatever the distance your saw is going to be. Mine just happens to be 16 inches. Hey, Buster, what comes after 16? 61. <clears throat> One. Take after your daddy. And here we have it. You can see that the cut is stopped. This is 16 and a half, and so my saw would actually be at 16 and a quarter. I used the blue and not the white because it turned out that this is actually old Formica. Incredibly slippery, very, very tough. I wanted the white, I thought it would brighten up the saw, and I could still obviously flip this over. But I went for this side because, ooh, that Formica is nice and slippery. Now, to fit it to the saw. Taking our board, I'm going to carefully thread it down through the saw blade and push it up tight at the base in the back. It is tight and square against the back of the saw, right back here, and my blade is now centered. And I'll drop the foot down, put a little pressure on it, just to use it as a makeshift clamp. When you're done cutting it out, you just slip it in on your blade, center it in the back, center it in the front, and I just use some quick release clamps. You are going to lose a little of your depth back there, and you're going to lose quite a bit of your height right here, but you're going to get fresh, shiny new teeth. Now, I can double the life of my blades. It doesn't irritate me to throw away a blade that's perfectly sharp, except for the big spot in the middle. And I get more use out of everything. I've never had a problem with these wiggling around. This is actually one we made specifically for this video. It's much nicer than my old crappy one, which was just a piece of plywood. This is much nicer. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad the two of us making this video means that we have a much nicer, much slipperier if that's a word, cutting surface and shiny new teeth.